Sunday sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the heart of Texas and the very wonderful AT&T oh, the Stadium game. in Arlington. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Carolina Panthers and the Dallas Cowboys. It is a little different. I can't see where it's going to go. I can't see where it's landing. Weird. Started and we are underway from AT&T Stadium. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. No, it won't because when he gets going, now it opens up opportunities on the perimeter because that'll draw the defense towards him in the middle of the field. Now your wide receivers are getting involved as this game goes on. Jeremy Chin there defensively. Really weird. It says, please wait. Offense is choosing their personnel. Yeah, but why can't I choose my own team? Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Now a shotgun handoff to Pollard. And some solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38. Give him 15 there, and the Cowboys have a first. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. And they'll work this down inside the 30. He kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. They'll come up now on second and a yard. Let's get off the field. Inside give to Elliott. And the big boys up front are going to stop him right at the line. I was trying to look under my microphone. No gain, as a matter of fact. I lean back. And it leaves them at third and one. Here comes the seventh play of this opening drive. They've moved it well, but here's third down. He may be a bit undersized compared to the modern-day NFL defensive tackle, but what he lacks in size, he definitely makes up for in his ability to make tackles in the run game as well. He needed a yard. That's exactly what he got. Earns him a new set of downs. If you make the stop there, maybe you hold him to three on this opening drive. They didn't get the stop. Yeah, new set of downs now. Now you're worried about, just as you pointed out, not just giving up three, possibly giving up six. Let's see what they decide to do here because they've got to change up what they have been doing. Touchdown! What the fuck? Why well, was he Ezekiel looking? Ezekiel Elliott, 27 yards. And the Cowboys are on the board first here this afternoon. When you do uh, field goals, it comes down real fast, too, by the way. Very fast. And his kick is no okay. good. An inauspicious start here kicking-wise as this one stays a 6-0 game. You know when you when your power level goes up and then when you say I want it there it comes back down really fast when you're playing human. Okay. It's hard to kick it straight. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. Taking it about the one. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. Darnold and the Panthers now with a first and 10 here at their own 16. 
They'll run it here. This is Deontay Foreman. And that closed up quickly there as he gets it up only to about the 17. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. On second and nine, Darnold. And that nearly an interception here on this opening drive, but he gets a reprieve. It's third down. Charles already trailing by touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even... And he's going to be brought down. Back at his own six-yard line. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense. So he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. Well, this sucks because I couldn't oh, see. I was so far back. Hecker I couldn't see my. This one away. My. Uh, this is taken deep in their territory. Was, I can only see the top portion of it. I couldn't the see it. That time. And the Cowboys are going to take over well, that a great sucks. position here. With that was first bad. And 10. You know the 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 punt. Um, I don't know what you call it. The, like the arc of it. No, the not the arc. The the actual punting. Um, They'll go with Pollard here on first down and able to work his uh, way out of the 16. I don't know what they call it. Though. Seven yeah. yards on the pickup there, and it'll lead. I think we have to hit the button, and they have to hit it a second time. It's there. There. Now they can I couldn't see it. I can only see the very top of it. I couldn't see the bottom at all. So I had no idea Calvary where I was. And pound the rock. A good run got where seven on first. Here's second and three. Here's Pollard again. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. A three-yard pickup on second and four. Now they'll need to convert here on third and a little more than a yard. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Hey, watch the ball, watch the ball. Seven's the Trying to run for it with Pollard. They'll be marked inches short. No gain on the play. And that's going to lead them to fourth down. According to the... Uh, I apologize in advance, partner, but the beef feeders on the interior of this D-line, you just know they were licking their chops on third and short. And yes, they were rewarded with a tasty dish, stuffing that one short of a first down. Yeah, the Cowboys are going to have first and goal. As oh, they it doesn't to play at all. Like the, uh, nope. They only needed about four all. or five inches there. Right not. on the big guys up front and got it done. Yeah, this is time to just go ahead and hit it straight ahead. No juking, right? No movement in the backfield. Take the ball and go. As I heard a coach tell a player a long time ago, save your dancing for the club, son. Just get up into that line. Touchdown, Cowboys! <laughs> Michael Gallup on the receiving end from Dak Prescott. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Another impressive drive. So they're two for two, two touchdowns. Charles, a great start to this ball game for them. Damn it! And one of the words is down so fucking fast. Our lexicon is stacking. They stack momentum. Well, at least you could see yours. I couldn't see mine on the phone. It's different on the kickoff though. Defense held, forced to punt to get the ball back. Uh, yeah, but I couldn't even see the. I couldn't see the bar, so I had no idea where I was. You're talking about the bar in the middle of the screen. I'm talking about the kickoff bar, the, the punt bar. Yeah, where, where it has up down, and comes down. Yeah, it was off the screen. Really? That's yes, never on the bottom. I've never From seen that the before. Ten. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. They find themselves in a good size hole here, in a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. So the completion good, good results right there. are in nine yards, and it'll bring up a second and short. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense, but they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, if we can talk about finding the soft spot defensively. How do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? Tough to do, because what they normally will do is run routes that'll pull you out of that spot they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mousetrap, but it's hard to do, because when you see a guy cutting that in that direction, Direction, you tend to go towards him. He can't me. He's not gonna get me. <laughs> On first down, Darnold. And a double coverage and it's intercepted. 
And the Cowboys are going to take possession of the football. A few things better than a big man interception. You can always tell right when First they get all, the football. First of all, I don't even have that my, level of excitement and my normal player. And also, so I don't what know. the heck do I do with this thing? <laughs> and you say, no better sight. Weird. Well, not for the quarterback who just threw it. It's bad enough to throw a pick, but to throw one to the big guy? But you're right Damn about it. that. Now what do I do that with it? But what's fun about it is... You know they're going to be in the film room after this ball game. Tell all their teammates, maybe I should shift over to offense. I've got skills. What do you think? <laughs> oh, absolutely. I always find myself cheering for them after they intercept it. Unfortunately here, he couldn't make it into the end zone. Silver, silver. On second down, Elliott. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. 13-0 is the score after one on EA Sports. They haven't made much of this great starting field position they had. Here's third and six. Here's Prescott. And he's able to hook up with Michael Gallup. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. Everything's going right here in this first half, and they've got a good lead. And part of that can be attributed to their success on third down. This is another conversion here. And they can look to really open things up now with this first and goal. Touchdown! Three touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott as his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. Well, CD, that's his second touchdown already. And how about this offense? Three drives, three touchdowns. An absolute total. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. Oh, I went to the wrong guy. Son of a bitch. Well, I, admit, I need to make up for that bad here, kick. Trying to make sense of what I just saw. Number one, huge lead. Push the wrong the extra point be done with it. Number two. If you are going to go for two, just line up and go for it from the two-yard line. Why make it so difficult? That's a long way to go. I don't understand what just happened. Points. I should have gotten the ball. No, that was the extra point. Following the touchdown, here's oh, the extra to kick point. it away. I was trying to go for two to make up for that missed kick, and I threw it to the wrong guy. And so Fielded just extra point. The goal line. Uh, I went for a two-pointer and it failed. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in oh, the yards he's category. <laughs> see if they can do better here on this drive. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They were starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Here's Darnold. Looking underneath and finding Hubbard. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And now we've got a third and three. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. He'll find his man, Terrace Marshall, complete. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 35. A sizable 16-yard chunk there. The drive continues. Now, that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't gone their way, and they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit. And they Fucking get asshole. The <laughs> My game. guy took off going the wrong way. It's a pick up of four, and it'll bring up second down. Yeah, that happened. And that was yeah. I was trying to come down the middle. He took off like he was going to go have lunch somewhere. Up front and wing in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Now Jarnold. 
Oh, yep, that was me. I, I fucked that one up. I took over. I wasn't trying to take over the, uh, the defensive guy, and I ended up taking over him and stopping. And the Panthers are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. Eddie Pinheiro now for the extra point. And they're able to cut the deficit to 12. Did it come down fast for you? Because it came down really fast for me. Yeah, it, came, it comes down fast. Eddie Pinheiro sets the kick off. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. The offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll. Looking to just add to what they oh, have been doing. And now this is it wasn't even fucking my ready. Goodness. What are you going, Jack? Picked off by J.C. Horn. That and guy didn't even lit up and I threw it. Possession of the football. Yeah, too and quick on that one. written all over. You've got a right-handed quarterback, a rolling left. As soon as I threw it and I saw my field. guy wasn't it's there, really I was like, oh, to to no, this is an body, interception. Twist it around into the proper position and get anything on the ball as you heave it downfield. And that's what it actually turns into a heave. And that's not really a good throw, is it? Not good, and we saw the result. It was Osa Odigizawa on the tackle. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big bodied guys in the middle of this day, has got to be priority one. On second down, here's a run with Hubbard. Stopped at the 24 yard line after a gain of five. They haven't made much of this great starting field position they had. Here's third and six. What the fuck was that? Uh, it looked like you hit the... I didn't hit anything. Eddie Pinheiro on now. From the left hash, this will be... It looked a like a uh, spike. Now, see, when I don't know if you can see... I can't I've see got it. a little line that goes up. Uh, I don't see anything. nothing shows it where it comes down. I got I got a line going up, but nothing that shows when it comes down. On the kickoff? Yep. Well, it should On only, this. It should go up, and then once you stop it, it should show you a line that, down. I don't know. Nope. There is no. I'm the saying the line of where the ball is going to go. Good. And you know, you got an arc that shows you where the ball now. is. So the interception I have no arc. Terrific field position, I got a little thing going up. Points, the end result. And then yeah, we can make this one there's nothing on the other end. It shows me where it's going to go. Points. But that's one that you're going to look know. back on and probably say we should have done uh, better there. So when you kick off from a yard or two deep, here comes a return. When you kick and off, start this drive just to you have an arc that goes up. You're talking about where the ball, like where the ball is, where the ball is on the right. ground, where the ball is on the ground, where the ball is going to go when you kick it. And mine just has a little. Faint arc going up and nothing coming down. That's kind no of what idea. mine shows. Okay. I mean, you're going for an extra point. The you're not. It's going to go through the upright. Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put well, something together not on this drive. Right. Because remember last time out, they uh, threw the yeah, interception. Yeah, but if you see it going up, it's going to go through play. the uprights. That's all you're aiming for, right? Not if you're aiming over to the right or the left. When you're trying to kick an extra point, why would you do that? Well, if there's wind or something like that, you're going to be selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. On second and nine, Prescott. He's going to find Gallup here complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A Cowboy first down there, Prescott to Gallup. Talk about a big first half. Already has the two touchdowns, adding to his receiving total there and picking up the first down. He's coming off the line so fast. I think he's intimidating the defensive backs with his explosiveness, and he's chipping away at their confidence. Prescott on first down. Open man is Noah Brown. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, 
the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. The first down carry by Alia. And good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. <laughs> and we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. play from the 34 now here's first and 10 here's Prescott is this intercepted it is it's intercepted picked off by JC I jump higher than mine did I guess I'm not paying my guy enough to jump high enough apparently I guess no, I he's looking back regardless of status or experience whether it's Weird. personally or just the offensive game plan, I think this defense is reading something out there, and they're holding the upper hand. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. They got the ball now following a big play, keeping the other guys out of the end zone. Now they'll start deep in their own territory, first and 10. And he'll get it up to the 12-yard line here. Call it a gain of three on the play, and it's second down. To throw is Darnold. And that'll be off the mark. Well, so just don't even fucking look team. back, buddy. <laughs> That's, That's point, my I've guy. My guy didn't look back. Yours was. He wore receivers <laughs> to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. We're going to have to work on this guy. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Mike, Mike, 55. Check, 55. Back to throw, Darnold. Yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Oh, I thought he had that one, and that was nearly a big third down conversion to give this drive some life. Instead, they're on the spot and help separate the receiver from the ball. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. 49-yard punt. Five on the return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and ten. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls at work. Now they've got to build another drive and find a way to avoid the turnover the plague did on the last one. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. To throw is Prescott. Get it again, motherfucker. What are you looking at? half, it's intercepted. Picked off by J.C. Horn. And the Panthers are going to get the football there as he gets this up to the 38-yard line. First and ten here, and you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. Darnold's throw complete there to Moore. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game. And it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second. And he will go down. A Cowboys sack. Micah Parsons showing off that elite athleticism as he gets the sack. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. As the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. Now following the sack, Darnold and Carolina left with a third and long. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. 
Oh, and that's going to be right incomplete. There. The contact there enough to jar that ball free, and it brings up fourth down. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started, and that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty, and before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. And here we go on fourth. Darnold. And that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And Dallas, they'll take over in terrific field position. Draw play, Elliott. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Prescott. Schultz hauls in the quick throw. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Now Prescott. No! And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Dante Jackson picks it. Charles, not only is that an interception, it's one when you were really knocking on the door for a touchdown inside the red zone. You're actually thinking points. You threw it right to your guy. Worst, My guy's not even there yet. But he was saying he was ready we for it. look back on this in the second half and say, you remember yeah. when they didn't get points Nothing on that game? This could cost them. Flag coming out as they line up to kneel on it. Oh, yeah. And here we go. And with time running short here, they'll simply <laughs> take a knee and that should place. do it for half number one. Yeah, just save my guys and leave it for the second half, you know? <laughs> So what, I threw so four interceptions already? <laughs> it's halftime. This yeah, is the NFL, and it's a presentation no, a of EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside I wish I could Charles change my Davis. personnel, but I don't know how to do that. I don't, yeah, I don't do any of that. Yeah, I see my thing going up. I don't see it coming down, but, I mean, whatever. Okay. The Panthers going to get the football first, trailing here as well as we resume play in this second half. Roberts electing not to try it, and this will come out to the 25. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. In the first half, they struggled a little bit to keep pace offensively, CD, down two scores here. So how do they make some changes coming out of the locker room? Well, they've studied what they did in the first half. They've seen what the defense has thrown at them. Now they want to have a plan of attack against it. So you come out, you're not going to get all the points back on one drive. But get started on it. Start chopping into that lead, and maybe it'll inspire your defense. Almost had it. Well. Your guy, I dropped it two right in your guys' hands. <laughs> and that's going to lead to a third and 12. You and I both know that was a lucky play, but again, I give him credit. Going up on the tip and catching that one. Stayed with it, made his own luck, didn't he? And, and he used his size there. Had a defensive back mentality to go up and get the ball on the tip, but used his size. I mean, tight ends, going up and getting it, sometimes they can knock people out of the way and finish oh, the ball. Oh, we go. When this ball's tipped oh, it got tipped. Yeah, it yeah, got tipped. And the Cowboys are going to take possession of the football. I certainly think that we're seeing a big reason why this team has struggled to put points on the board so far because too many of their drives. Or, no, you got hit already. as I was, uh, as you were throwing it. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. Shaq Thompson on the tackle that time. 
I don't think any of us were surprised that they decided to start this drive on the ground after the last two drives ended in interceptions. Unfortunately, though, not a lot going on on that first play. Yeah, I think the anticipation was felt also by the defense. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. <laughs> I smell fear in that They're offense, he said. <laughs> he will push his way down to about the 14. Two yards a game there, and now they're left with a third and about four for a first. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. Now Prescott. And my goodness, another interception. It's C.J. Henderson. I know where my guy was supposed to be. And the Panthers are going to take over here he on the even... INT at their own five-yard line. I think you and I were a little surprised back earlier in the game when he threw his second interception. I mean, who would have thought a quarterback of his caliber picked now five times? Five it's times. beyond stunning to me because we're used to that with maybe a quarterback with less experience or less talent. But a quarterback of his caliber? I can't believe what we've just seen. Absolutely. If you would have told me this coming into the ball game, I would have said never, not in a million years, but here we go. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Off of play action, Darnold. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. He came through well with a nice pass break up there. Fortunate that he was on the spot. He's the only guy left to prevent the first down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now it's Darnold. Oh, oh, oh. Off your helmet. Intercepted a third time. <laughs> what the? Picked off his helmet. Edge, <laughs> and the Cowboys are going to take possession of these guys. <laughs> yeah. I threw it to him Second exactly drive, where he's supposed to get. Yeah, he turned around and he said, off his helmet right into my hand. Because I don't think it's going to rattle him necessarily. But I also oh, wonder if it's going to nerve him a little bit. Does it lead to another one? Or does he find a way to pull it together and become sharp again? Prescott's throw complete. Now, see, that's what my guy was supposed to do. And out of bounds, right around, around the 20. Right there. Give him a gain of five on the, the ball completion. And it'll be second down. Here we go, here we go. Now a give here to Pollard. And all the way down inside the five to the four. 50 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. And he will take it in for a Cowboy score. He was not in the end. Ezekiel Elliott. With his he was not in the end zone. The Ball was even on his side. And the Cowboys take the interception on defense and convert it into six I had one the, when I was playing um, the franchise. They'll try and run it here. And I had one where the, uh, the, lead up to three the guy hit, uh, got the ball. He was hit. He was tackled. He was down. Then he got up and ran. <laughs> Nobody and touched it, him? It, and no, no, he was down the ground in a pile of of my of my uh, <laughs> players he was down on his back on the ground and he got up and he ran and he ran into the end zone and got a touchdown now what the fuck i don't know must have been a, a loose ball or something what honey following the touchdown here's mar to kick it away On the return, Andre Roberts from his end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. Okay, I'm back. In this position, trying to get back into the game. Teams My wife got a fight from their special guy. teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover. They want to try and put points on the board. And a short gain across the 15 to the 17-yard line. 
Now, see, well, I didn't really do good shit. Two, I don't know. Now it's, it's hit a no. Yeah, I don't know what it did. Whatever Poulan said to Spike, sure he, he spiked it. One, I didn't touch anything. I understand, but uh, that's. I didn't touch anything. They it just said no huddle. Right, but it spiked it. Yep. And I didn't tell it to do that. I don't know. I don't know what happened. For the fourth time today. Up it's frustrating. That's the second time it did that. It's a waste of play. It's like at the end of the play, if, you're, if you push anything, then... I didn't push anything. I'm I don't know. I've been here holding on to my... On to my... Controller. I've never done that. I've never done it. I don't know how you did. I don't know, but I've done it twice. Is the team that just threw that interception? They've got to be careful about developing a sense of complacency and thinking this game is over. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. A nice pickup of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. How about the way they're moving the ball down the field? They had a big play a moment ago. Followed it up with another nice one here. And before you know it, they're already looking at first and goal. And he'll get about four there as he takes For some reason, no matter which player I pick, he always gets double teamed. That's good power football on first and goal. Seriously, I've tried three different players. That's a nice job to troop a three different positions. And get yourself And they all get double teamed. They always get double teamed. How do it know? Your guy's always digging in my pockets, and I don't have pockets. And I'm on defense. They stay on the ground, but this time it's Elliott. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. Were you as surprised as I was that they actually ran it on second down there? I thought that they would go ahead and throw it in every situation here. <laughs> They've thrown for three touchdown passes. Now here, I think they probably go back to the air. Yeah, I think so. But ordinarily, second down is when you run your play fake, your play action, show run and throw the ball. Now they brought up third down and allowed to throw it anyway. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Prescott to throw it. And what the throw fuck? Here, that's complete. And he'll get nothing out of that one. So he'll be stopped here for no gain. And that will bring up an interesting decision here on fourth and goal. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards especially right, on smart third asses end. yeah that one how about the defense Figured yeah that i see one what you're saying way. the line goes away yeah, and they stuff completed it all right yeah. and lost yardage yeah, i'm doing it too i, I mean don't. i don't know why it's doing that because you should be able to see where your ball is yeah. going to go yeah i don't know Yeah, you bounce off the upright. Right, line drive, even though that's not where it said it was going. You're just like you're saying. Yeah, the line went away, and then just fourth and goal. And then fourth and goal turns into no points whatsoever. They got some weird shit going on here. That's a very disappointing sequence of events right there. And I, for one, would not want to be the kicker who has to run over to his head coach and explain that one. Now the pressure comes, and he goes down. Just inside the ten, back at the nine. It looks like a loss of right around 11 there on first down to set him back on second. Well, they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. Like I'm playing a different game. Darnold. Yep. Oh, I took over again. For the completion. Nice. And they're going to get this up to midfield. We know I accidentally took, I don't quite take over unless I know where they're at. I wasn't trying to find them. Like this, Next thing I know, I saw the thing underneath them. Incredibly complex calls. Sometimes it's just get the ball in his hands and let him do his thing. In a sense, less can become more. And it was right there. Hey, Mike's 42. Mike's 42. Let's go, Dick. From the 50, it's Darnold. Almost. Quick throw there, going to be batted away at incomplete. Another attempt, another incompletion. And when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long game or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points. And the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. Nice. Meanwhile, Darnold's throw pulled in by Marshall. Darnold to Marshall there, first down Panthers. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. 
A carry for Foreman. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching yeah, That's what NFL. I'm saying. I have such a deficit now. I've got a 17, a three-score deficit, and there's no way I can pick up in an eight-minute quarter. Hey, Ken. There's no way I can do it. I scored three in one in one quarter. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. They'll run a draw oh. now with Hubbard. And he'll take this nice inside the, the 30 to about the 29, maybe the 28-yard line. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Here we go. Here's Darnold. Ah. And this will be incomplete. Boy, can you believe this? That one probably should have been picked too. Instead, it's fourth down. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break. And you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. Fourth down, and for Darnold, it's desperation time. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Thomas. I was so stunned, I forgot to run. And he's going to have a Panthers first down as they manage to convert, and that'll keep the drive alive. Felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure on a fourth down call. Doesn't matter the distance. You still have to get it done, as you noted, and they did. I don't want... So after the conversion on fourth, here's first and ten just outside of the red zone. Back to throw. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. So after the incompletion, second and ten from the 22. They'll run out of the gun. It's Hubbard. Five yards. Now it's third and five. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Here's Foreman. And they're going to lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. This linebacking core, they've done a good job of keeping that running game in check, haven't they? They certainly have, and what they'll also do when this game is over is thank the guys up front, the big defensive line, because they've kept them clean, so to speak. Not letting blockers get to them, allowing them to run to the football and keep that running game bottled up. And the Panthers turned away on fourth down. Mm. And the Cowboys what? defense is going to get make the it to the first down back. line. Oh, so that's boy. the second time this game You're they've given three it up yards on behind fourth it. down. They're now one for three on fourth down conversion drives. But they must feel good about what they're doing, right? They continue to go for it on fourth down. Give the defense a lot of credit, though. They've stopped them two out of three times. Usually, you have fourth down plays that you have dialed up and ready to go and you think are going to be successful. Not so far in this game. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Again, it's Elliott. 40 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. High throw, but he makes the catch. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender. And that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. Up the middle, here's Elliott. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. 
That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Second and seven, operating from the 34. Double tight, guys, double tight. They'll try and run some clock now with Elliott. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. Still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. On third down, it's Pollard. And strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. 13 yards and a first down, Cowboys. Brandon, unfortunately, I've been here before. They've had two opportunities to stop them, so this is demoralizing. They haven't gotten it done. Now you're calling all your blitzes, all your attack defenses, but you're not worried about playing your normal position. You're going to take chances now. Well, you said it. Two third down opportunities to get off the field. Couldn't do it, and the clock continues to roll. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. <laughs> and Zach was stuck this on down top of his back. 46. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. You know, I play if football, you like defensive the referee, football, maybe, yeah, focus said, on the defensive end. The referee on this swallows play, his He does whistle, everything he exactly right. Reads the play <laughs> and, and make sure he spills it for a small gain. He's talking, you know, he's whistling when he's talking. Yeah. If he swallows his whistle and he can't, Inside he can't blow the whistle. He'll you just keep hitting him. Down to the 43-yard line. A spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves and start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. Looking to throw, Prescott. No, the Brian fucking should have gone to the guy in back of him. smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. Prescott. Throw right side, taken in by Gallup. And he is going to have the Cowboys first down. It's a gain of 12 on fourth. A big pickup of 12 yards on fourth down to keep this drive from stalling. So a big play there on fourth, and now first and 10 at the 30. Now back to the ground with Elliott. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now, I can be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. Elliott going to get it again on second down. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. 72 yards rushing now for Zeke. He's got a first down. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. Only a yard on the pickup there, second and goal. The yards may start getting a little tougher to come by down here near the goal line. That's good work defensively there on first down, holding them to a short gain. They go back to Elliott. He's been busy, and he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. A nice run there as he picks up six. It's going to be third and goal now. And, Brad, they went to a nickel defense, and that's a surprise this close to the goal line because ordinarily you use... The back end of the end zone, the sidelines is extra defenders, and you want bigger people. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott taking it in from two yards out as his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. 
And just power football there down near the goal line. Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come and have to report. But... Oh, and now they're going to fake it. Won't, it. It won't, it won't, it won't release. I was pushing it, pushing it, pushing it. Nice, nice one. They're not asking me, but I'll give you my opinion anyway. It will not release the guy. From the call <laughs> sheet. I guess they figure with the big lead, oh, that's they can Cooper Rush. a little bit. <laughs> but all in all, just go ahead and put that play Yeah, the ice. line just, it, like, it uh, starts to fade Following up. The touchdown. Yeah, I see what you're saying. I've never seen that before. Fields it right around the goal line. There you go. <laughs> and they'll get him down inside the run back to 27. Elmeric time. Start this drive out on the ground. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. So this well, one I didn't have any of my usual players. For the Dallas Cowboys. And so it was their I defense that really that made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Um, yeah, think about the team that just normal got players that are on this they team scored in the second quarter. There. I, Do you think they weird. thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, yeah, so you had, it was, you had it two all scores in the, second in the first half, and no points in the first were half, and I had That's to make up three to in the first quarter. I have to make up three in the in the second or the last so quarter. That'll do it for there was just no way it was going to happen. And it, all our crew, I'm Brandon Garden. You've been watching. So, so, I, threw, I threw you five interceptions. Yeah, you did. I threw you four. As we sign off and say in retaliation. So from well, Arlington. they're counted. They're no, I threw them directly to you. I, you, I had a tip and then uh, bounce off a helmet. You know, you 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 threw it and it bounced off the guy's helmet. And I caught it. I tipped one. And I threw you five interceptions. You had plenty of opportunity on those interceptions to change it. Yeah. Well, so those weren't scores for me. I'm not impressed with the with the, uh, the gameplay. Um, it's weird. I mean, literally, I got double teamed every time I selected. It didn't matter which guy I selected. He got double teamed. Now, you know, that just isn't realistic. 